Howdy, howdy. J-R-A. From here uh, near Mojave, I saw this container train, so. I thought that'd be a good way to open up the stream. Watching this bad boy roll by. This is a long one. See the end of the way back there, though. Hey, what's up, German soldier? Good to see you. I hope your weekend's going well. Thing just keeps going. There it goes. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. All right, let me pull up my spreadsheet here. I believe we've got something sitting over here at Mojave ready to go. Mojave. Maybe not. Which one was that? Oh, that was it being this half bigger field. I was thinking about. Huh. All right. Well, let's go take a look at Mojave because I thought I had something over there. Yeah, my weekend's been okay. Oh, you're trying to get on at a class form. Nice. Well, hope that goes well for you. All right, let's pop over to the hobby yard. Got something set in here. Do you have anything that needs ran? Got the, uh, the lot 53. There's Monarch and some other stuff. Yeah, I'm not that familiar with LOP fifty. Let's see if that's on my sheet here. Uh, yeah, that's on my sheet. Showing that it's not ready, so I think I just hadn't realized that it was ready to go. Well, I'm changing my spreadsheet here off off screen. Uh, looks like it goes out to Paramount and a bunch of other stuff. Monolith. Not super familiar with that local, so. Uh, I haven't bought any uh, any liveries in a long time, so. This is it. I'm not sure if I actually have any liveries, actually. Yeah, I was just kind of in the mood, Adam, for some for some more run eight. So LOP fifty three. Uh, let me go ahead and grab. Grab that. If I pull up the switch list, adjust the tag here. Can't have any extra stuff in the tag, or the switch list doesn't work. So yeah, it's got a got a bunch of stuff going on. We're only setting out at three different industries. 
You definitely see yourself picking up the game if you get the job. <laughs> It'd be like farmers playing farm sim. They don't. Uh, they don't really have a an IT engineer game. I can't see myself doing that all day. Well, I, I probably can because I do a lot of programming and stuff on the side as well. Uh, well, I think let's see where this goes. I don't actually know. Not that familiar with it. Um, where is Monolith? Let me go look this up over here at uh, the depot server. Ah, crap. Forgot they plaster the password that you're not supposed to show. All over the front page. <laughs> Reference. Brain symbols. California. Hello, P53. It's not under train symbols. Oh, destination tags, maybe? There we go. LOP53. There we go. That doesn't have anything on it. Hey, Adam, we're over at uh, Mojave. You know one guy that would rather play farm sim than farm? <laughs> All right, so Mojave page five, six. Wow, this thing's all over the board. Go consult my map. So CTI is. Well, there's Monolith. The CTI is Kim Tools down there. Oh, so they're out near Summit. How far away is that? So we're at Avi. Heck is Summit for? I'm just not that familiar with the entire railroad here, so. might be more than more than I want to attempt <laughs> that summit was labeled on here is it not labeled am I just missing it I think this is going to be too much I need to need to research on this one so I don't think we're going to run this one I don't uh, don't know it that well, so I think that's the only thing they're ready to go at Mojave. I was just checking out here at Mojave. Um, we do have this train set in here. Maybe we could get it going. Where the what is CAL? CAL, where are you? CAL, CAL. I don't see CAL. On my off route destination is that uh, an on route I'm a noob I don't see CAL anywhere so I'm not sure where they're destined for Yep, not seen that. All right, well, let's go back over to Bakersfield. We've got some stuff at Bakersfield. We have the, uh, the 913J that's set in here. And I think it goes out via the Gomez. Yeah, I think we need to go here.
and it is in two different pieces. Oh, I need to push. There we go. So this just goes out to Tricor Paramount. I've done that one before. So we could get that one fired up. Do uh, all the auto stuff there. Automatic. This is the other piece of that train. I have enough room to grab that? I think I do. We'll find out. Get chat back up here. Where'd you go, chat? You are there. Uh, I'm not sure about the hump, actually. Let's, let's go look at that. I looked and my files were still in place. So I don't know what's up with the hump. I did fix those tracks that were missing. No, I don't I don't know where my um hump config is. My file is still in place on the file system, but it doesn't show here, so further troubleshooting is required. I don't know what broke. Something with the new update would be my guess. So we're going to need to head out this way. And we'll use that. we use this lead here. I think that'll give us enough room to get the other part of our train here. Yeah, it is weird. I don't know what's up with that. I haven't had time to go figure it out. But this train's got air in it. Bob's ready to go. So, yeah, we shouldn't be touching any control territory. So it should be good. to poke around on the forums and see if anybody else is having hump yard issues. I don't remember seeing anything about hump yards in the patch notes. Should probably give those another look. That's all right. We'll just run a local today. We have a pretty nice interior. I don't want to be on the fence. <laughs> Crying out loud. I wish there was uh, an orbit view. It's an SD40-2, but it seems to have a slightly different interior. This gauge is a lot clearer. I don't know. It doesn't have my saved. Doesn't have my saved um, position stuff. Crap! I can't remember how to adjust the view. Usually, I have the view down a little bit so I can s tell what notch I'm in without panning the view around.
Cab view, left, right. Yeah. But it was cab view something. Reset, save camera. Right control P saves the. How do I move it up and down? Avatar, is it Avatar down? What oh, is? Okay, it's the same as. Alright. Right control P. Forgot to hit my uh, counter, so I knew when I was past there. Hey, it's going to be close. We'll see if we can pull forward far enough. I didn't want to have to take the main just to hook up my train. train. Another bunch of containers headed out. Alright, let's see how we did. Oh yeah, we're far enough. Good deal. All right, bring her on back. Yeah, I need to... I guess I need to get some more of the liveries. It's going to be one of the Heritage Units packs. We're pretty flat here, at least where the engine is. That's why you played for, applied for the train crew. <laughs> yeah, you'll you'll get up and close and personal with them. Running in all the slack. <laughs> Heard it coming all the way down the train. Just need to push this 
little closer. I'm going to leave that six pound set on. Shove her on back into this cut. go. Alright, let's pop back to the back of the train. That guy closed up. Oh, I don't want to walk the entire train set in brake hoses, so do that. Alright, let's pump some air. Hey, Duck Sorley, how's it going, bud? I am well. Hope you are, too. All right. Lots of airflow. Some of these guys are empty. Yeah, they're empty because they were just sitting here. So we'll get that pumped up. Anybody coming through here to watch? He's all gone. What's this blue loco down here? Is that a Conrail? I'll be darn. An old Conrail unit sitting there. I don't know what's up with these. Why it says JEE -E Jeep 40 2. Some kind of inside joke or something? I'm not sure. Shove platform in there. I like the Jeep 40s. Nice engines. But uh, we got, I think, three of the SD forty twos on the on, or no, that's the GP forty. So a couple SD forty twos and a GP forty two in the lash up today. We're actually gonna have to shove back just a little further, clear that switch once we get some air in the train. We'll be heading out. I believe we take the switch at. Uh, Gomez here. I'm not 100% sure how to tell Otto that I want to take that. So let's just go out and take a look at that real quick. Yeah, that's the switch here. And we head off into unsignaled territory. Then do we over? Yeah, we got to wind over, clear over to here. So we're actually heading over kind of towards uh, Seiko, where we were working last time. But we're coming from the southern BNSF yard. So we're going to come up through here, take the main just briefly to get over to here, and then on out to uh, Paramount and Tricor, which is way down here, giant complex. These two here. A bunch of set outs. So we'll have to get over here. Is the uh is there a storage track? Is this track? We may want to stop here and get some of these moved out of the way with the, we've got uh, industry power over here. I don't know how long this is. We'll see. We got to get the uh, train assembled first. Yeah, I mean, I know it's Jeeps because they're called Jeeps, but why, why does it say that on that particular locomotive when these just say GP40-2 most of them just say GP40-2 so there's there's something special about these I don't know I don't know what the inside scoop on that is anywho let's go back to our point here We are slowly pumping air. We got a big terrain, so 
Takes a while to get all that air pumped through. Pop back to the end here. And throw an EOT on. I don't even have enough air back here to power it yet. Go cocks are all set, right? Yeah, it may just not be enough air. I don't know what the minimum air requirement is. This has got a little turbine in it. Go ahead and set the independence. And uh, release all the handbrakes. Yeah, there's probably a buffer car in here somewhere because this is uh, all tankers. Yeah, it's just a buffer. Speaking of which, they have a they've got a bunch of hoppers here. Those go to Paramount. So the buffer is between the two. Yeah. So buffers in front of all the tricore stuff. So we can use the uh, open hopper up there for the uh, Paramount tankers. You're supposed to have. Not 100% sure on the rules, but you're supposed to have at least one. One buffer car between the engines and any tankers. What I understand. All right, back to spot. Low is slowly getting down there. Need to, to be below 60 cubic feet per minute. And we can open the ankle clock the rest of the way. These guys are on. Cool. I hear the uh, little turbine going. Up to 47. We were 33 pounds before, so... Somewhere between 33 and 47 is the minimum. Oh, was that guy stopping? I guess he stopped there for a crew change. I just headed out again. Another train somewhere. Blowing for a crossing. Oh, down there. Looks like they're going to meet, but there's tracks going different directions, so down there. <laughs> Buffer on each side, technically. Yeah, I don't know all the rules, and they're different, like, per railroad and per region. They're going to crash! Let's go down to that point there. That's kind of cool. Lots of train activity going. That's why I like having the AI spawning on and then have auto dispatching. You can keep everything rolling through. It just makes the world feel alive. Adds a little bit of interest. We're looking on the BP getting there. Looks like he's in dynamics, slowing down. So the 
This must be the crew change point. This part of the railroad. What are these guys doing? Hey, it's short. Hey, Fred. You got any more polygons? No, Bob. Polygons. He's going to be rolling to a stop. Wait, is that Bob in the cab? Bob? Bob's two-timing me, chat. Bob. Can't, can't keep up. That's Bob in there. Bob, what are you doing in there? Bob in two places at once. Yep. <laughs> Guess there's only a few character models they have. Right, Why is this? Is that saying we're at like 90? This is saying 65. I'm confused. All right, I think we're just about the point. I kind of hate to open it above 60. Trip the emergency. Usually below 60, you're safe. Oh, that's Bob's other brother, Bob. Gotcha. Busy are we here today? So we got a lot of, a lot of stuff moving through. So we're gonna have to come out here and then cross over and then go out Gomez. Actually, don't I don't know how to get Auto to do that for us. I don't know that I can. I can't set this as my destination siding, <laughs> my destination block. So I'll probably just have to manually dispatch myself out there. I could set this as my destination block. But I'll have to manually switch the, uh, the Gomez. All right, let's get this thing open. Get lots of air flowing. There we go. If we hop up in the cab. We've got 70 on the back end, so we're get, we're getting close. I gotta remember I need to I need to back up. One to thirty feet, because I'm I'm lined now to go down this little stub end here. So it wouldn't do any good to get this massive train moving and then have to stop up there because I forgot. So don't let me forget, okay? No, we're gonna do a brake test, Adam. There is dark wind, but only for destinations that Otto knows about. So he doesn't know about where we're going. But, like, if I was heading east to Barstow Yard, I could tag it, and then he would know we were going to Barstow Yard. There's no way to tell Otto that I need to go out to Gomez Switch. It's just, it just doesn't have that level of sophistication. So it'll go by your tag. If you're tagged for a destination it knows about, like it knows about certain control points and things and big yards. Uh, you can also, like I set 
this as my destination block. I don't know if you can tell on YouTube, but it's highlighted with a little green outline. So doing that tells Otto I want to go to this block. I just remove that. But we we need to go to unsignaled un uh, territory. So I'll just have to do that myself. Time comes. Yeah, what Adam said. <laughs> Alright, we should have a pretty close to full release soon. We've got 76 on the back end. Release the Kraken! He's back. We're just waiting on air. It's the story of our life. We got a pretty good sized train on here today, though. We're uh, nearly a mile, just under a mile long. We get, and we're, we're full. We've got 88 basically loaded tankers. So we are 12,000 tons. We don't have an excess of power at all. <laughs> I think it's fairly flat going out there, so we should be okay. But we're at, we're a paltry 0.7 horsepower per ton, so it's it's going to be a, a slugfest getting out there. Should be interesting. It's a good look. I don't think there's any other power sitting around here destined for this train. 913 Juliet. I mean, I could, like, steal one of these, but I think we'll be okay. Oh, wait. There are more engines sitting here. That's so you can build an, a new train. I mean, we're, as far as that, we're meant to pull it with this, and I've, I've done it before with the, with the three engines. We'll be fine. Doesn't have precision scheduling. No, it's not. It's not a. It's freight operations. So it's all like dispatcher controlled. All right, we should be able to move. We got almost eighty pounds on the back. Start pushing and see what happens. Hey, Luigi. All right, back of the train's moving. We're gonna do a brake test, but I'm gonna I'm gonna back up first <laughs> because reasons. How are we looking on that set? Whoa, we got lots of line today because our we're we're basically a mile long. So we got a good set all the way through the train. That's good. Let's go ahead and drop another ten pounds. I don't have to bail. I've got the independence on. You can see because the train is so huge, it takes a while for that air pressure change run throughout. Basically, the more red this gets, the harder your brakes are set.
The locos are set. Oops, the locos are set all the way, so they're purple. The three circles are my locomotives. And this is the train. The top bar is coupler force. Got a fair amount of coupler force going on in the train. I've bunched everything up to push it backwards. And we are super heavy. Gotta do some more polishing. We need air, so I'm gonna bump the throttle up. See if we get a good release everywhere. It's looking a little sticky towards the back. Yeah, it's starting to fall off, though. I think we're good. Okay, that looks good. So we just need to wait to get the brake pipe back up. Wait for this guy to go by. Take a look at the dispatch screen. But we'll let him go on by, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna take over control of the dispatching on this screen, and we'll get ourselves routed out. So we need to come out, cross over here, and then head out the Gomez switch. I think we're going to be clear after this BNSF train goes by. Sound like a plan, Bob? Bob's like, whatever, dude. He's just looking forward to a steak dinner. Only 60%. That's not many brakes as heavy as we are. Blow the horn two times. Yeah, I, I usually do that. Two for forward, three for reverse. Even though I'm just playing alone here. I just like to blow the horn, it's fun. All right, there he goes, so he's gonna be clear soon. 82 on the back end. I'd really like to be fully pumped up before we move because, like I said, this is a super heavy train. We're clear for a while. I don't see anybody else headed this way. It's going to take him a little while to clear these blocks. And I, as far as I know, I'm going to have to manually control dispatching to get out there. I don't know of any way to have auto get me out there. If you're a run eight expert and you do know, please share. Eighty four. We're getting there. That's pretty close to max. Our flows coming way down. That's good. Oh, you can use the avatar keys when you're in this view. Oh, interesting. What's what's the other avatar keys? Avatar. Oh, OK. 
Okay. Can you use a... Oh, you can move it when you're out here. I was expecting to be able to move it with the mouse. My bad. I was thinking you couldn't move the orbit view. Forgot, you can use the avatar move keys. Very nice. So we have a long train. We go all the way back. Just under a mile away down there. It's the end of our train. Hey, Hellbound. Yeah, there's a huge learning curve. Highly recommend that you read uh, through the documentation in the user guide folder. There's a ton of good info there. And then uh, go watch YouTube videos on like the basics. That's how I got started. 86. We're, we're basically ready to move, but how's the dispatch looking? Dispatch is looking pretty good, actually. Uh... Yeah, we're going to be ready to go here shortly. Let's wait for that last few pounds of air that we might need. <laughs> if I get in trouble. glad we're level here we can just pretty much just sit we don't have to have a, a set on all right let's let's get moving uh, I'm gonna turn off auto so I'm in charge of the dispatching now and I'm going to throw that switch I'm gonna say I can come out you can cross over and you can go out Gomez oops I need to undo that throw that switch wait for it to throw Yeah, man. You can do it. There it goes. Alright, and then we can get green out through there. And we've got a yellow there, so we're good to go. Very good. Let's hit the road, Jack. We might even be able to move. We're moving very, very slowly. way up <laughs> hey Andrew uh, I'm not playing multiplayer but the game itself has really good multiplayer support yes there's a lot of communities that run their own railroad you can have people dispatching and people running trains all over the place it's got really good multiplayer you lost power Vorden through the wind dang Yeah, Hellbound. Loco short line operations is a ton of fun, for sure. Got to set my counter. Yeah, Bob's like, don't make me get out and push. I'm just going to let everything chill while we're getting out of here. We'll let Otto pick up the pieces. Oh, wait, I have a flashing red. That's diverging, right? 
make sure I have a green there. Crap, what does that mean? Red over flashing red. Is that good? I think I, do I have that on my sheet here? Well, let me consult the manual as we run through the, the light here. Uh, I don't see red over flashing red anywhere. Oh, there it is. Restricting. Yeah, it just means restricted speed. Took me a while to find it on the, the giant page of various signaling indications. One thing I didn't check was, are there hand throws out here we need to set? I think everything should be lined for normal. Double check here real quick. Yeah. We were out here a couple, three streams ago, working these industries. Hey Luigi, we're, we're heading out to uh, work a couple industries. So we'll be, do, we'll be doing lots of stuff. I'm not sure if we'll even get done today. We're gonna be setting out, picking up, uh, we've got some industry power out there that we might actually be using. There's two huge industries that we're servicing with this mile-long terrain. So we're going to get out to the location, probably tie down this terrain, and then use the industry power to get some cars out of the way and set on a siding. It's, uh, it's pretty involved. I've done it before. A lot of massive cuts of cars. It takes a lot of time. thing I didn't do, I need to go set up a spot back here. Actually, I can just move that. I can move that switch to the dispatching because that is dispatcher controlled. I can go align this switch back to normal though. Just to clean up after ourselves. We're getting close to out of yard territory. Yep, we're out of that, so we can throw that back. Hey, catch you later, Hellbound. Drive safe. It's this industry. AMP. Don't remember if I've ever serviced that one before. Of course, there's hundreds of industries. I haven't been to them all. Came off the throttle there. I guess we just had a little bit of a dip. Thought we were going to get going too fast.
Yeah, we're still in 15 miles. I think this whole branch here is 15, unfortunately. I think it's fairly flat. I might just keep that up, though. Yeah, we are clear. I set that to red, it didn't work. So those are switching. Alright, let's give that back to auto. We are off of controlled territory now. Hey, YouTube Medical, how's it going? Got a mile of train behind us. These engines are working hard today. More throttle on, coming through that curve is going to slow us down. We got some hilly bits out here. Remember, you were here a couple, three streams ago. We were servicing these industries out here. It's pretty hilly. Should probably, let me run ahead and check here. All these should be set, but I don't remember if I was using the siding or not. good there yeah so we'll want to stop here and then we'll have to get mainline authority again we gotta, we gotta take the main just to get crossed over to there basically oops don't don't exit oh yeah what game are you playing Now we're back over here, but there's no, no indication of the unsignaled territory. Oh, don't slow down. I thought this was a dip, but maybe this is a it feels like this is a hill and this is the the uh, more level part again. We're struggling. See Bob? He just, just threw his head back. Denying our speed here.
Oh, it must be the fans kicking in. Getting hot. I'm back in the cab, but we do have to stop up here, so. I don't want to get too carried away with the power. I don't want to stall out on this hill, though. It's a pretty good little hill here. Staying at just about 10 mile an hour, so that's good. If I'd hit that going too slow, I'm not sure we could have pulled up it. Notch seven, just barely maintaining speed. How's the uh, railroad? It's looking pretty clear once that UP train gets by. Be able to sneak across the main again. Hey, Frazy Daisy, welcome. Just need more black smoke. <laughs> we do. We do have a lot of that. Go Whoa! A lot of that going on. stop before that grade crossing. Should be no problem. We're going to stop well short of that. Got him on a little too early. Just the slack, I think. <laughs> we started going backwards. That can't be good. All right, we gotta wait on the CP train to get out of the way. There he is. We gotta wait for him to go by. He's moving right along, though.
Traffic went right through the train. Uh, see, we do have, yeah, we have hand throws here. None of that fancy dispatcher controlled stuff. Alright, I'm gonna set you as position one. Should be good then. So we need to get from there to there. So we have to be on the main line for like 60 feet <laughs> to get where we need to go. So I'll wait for that block to clear and then we can, uh, we'll take back over the dispatch again. Actually, I might be able to do this with auto. So let me set that as my destination block. See if we can do it with the automatic dispatcher. Keep on rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep them wagons rolling. Run eight. Anybody old enough to remember Rawhide? I made this way before my time, but I've, I've seen reruns. He is still, still in the uh, block there. I think we'd be on UP, but when I when I do the auto thing, auto dispatch, puts us on eighty four. Yeah, I don't know. We'll roll with it. Uh, why did it say cancel my routing? <sighs> Auto, you are a pain. Yeah, it's okay, YouTube Medic Officer. No, I'm sure nobody got it. It was an old, old, old show called Rawhide. Clint Eastwood, when he was like a kid. Yeah, early 20s. And there was a song. You can Google it. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep them doggies rolling. Something like that. Rawhide. Alright, Otto doesn't like me. Got my block set. Doesn't like that. What about mainline authority? Nope. Okay, we're gonna have to do it ourselves. Fine. Unless it's because that block was occupied. Let's try that again when that block's not occupied. And we'll see. I'm gonna also pull forward. Now, auto is fine, but auto, the automatic dispatcher, is really geared towards mainline dispatching. And we're trying to do stuff going from unsignaled to signaled and back again so we're, we're trying to do stuff that auto is not really designed to do oh not too many amps and uh his name his name is is auto 
OTTO. Burn up some traction motors. You get a good release, so that's something. All right, that block is clear. Let's try that again. Like, if we were out on the main, just doing mainline stuff, auto works great. No, he won't give us mainline authority. Fair enough. Uh, let's try the uh, other one again real quick. No, because there's no control point to get on. Fair enough. All right, we're going to undo that. And I'm going to turn off auto. And then we'll just take the main. Nobody's coming through here. So if I pop over to my spot here, I'll throw that switch. I'm gonna throw that switch. Yeah. Hey, Andrew Noble. Yeah, Clint Eastwood when he was just a little little guy. <laughs> DL five forty one. How's it going? Yeah, I've had a uh, fuel pump failure before. Pretty rare to have a failure, but it's cool that it does happen. All right, we're aligned to go across and out that way. We are super fat. It was hard to get going. Didn't get any wheel slip though, so that's good. We're just making sure the cooling fans work. Actually, I think I've had a bad traction motor, too, now that I think about it. Looking at the ground. Wifey just said dinner's ready. It's 4 30. The truck just drove through my train. Movers sound good. Yeah, we got nobody around at all, so that's good. Good time to cross over very slowly. on the amps there we're we're kind of dancing with with the red line be all right oh definitely less inconvenient in game for sure I can sit here in my comfy chair, climate-controlled office. 
<laughs> Driving trains. It doesn't matter if I screw up. We're still in, yeah, we're still in 50 mile an hour territory. better check what we got ahead of us here got this this switch that needs thrown then it's pretty much just a straight shot on out to the industries yep so I think like I was saying earlier I think I'll tie up this train here and then we'll get some of these pickups out of the way with the industrial power stick them on the siding we'll have more room to work with that way. Oh, came off the power a little too soon. Oh yeah, we got a big grade here. Definitely came off the power too soon. 1% grade. Everybody pedaling? I didn't even look to see how much fuel these things had. Let's pretend like it has enough fuel. Oh yeah, we got all kinds of fuel. That was even full. Very nice. Yeah, I forgot to do is turn my headlights on. the other side of the track. It just keeps getting further away. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. That sounds miserable, DL. I'm not a railroader, but I, I did a lot of manual labor when I was a young lad. So I've I've been there in the snow, thin below. It sucks. <laughs> yeah, this one percent grade is eating my lunch. We're, uh, we're down to like 8.4 miles an hour, the rail driver says. <laughs> Keep pulling. I don't got any more amps to give. This is where being familiar with the route pays off. And I'm not familiar with the route. <laughs> I've done this job before, but it's been a long time. Bob, I need you to do your part. Call on the power of the stash. You need to get up this hill. The grade is leveling off, so that's good. Being 5'6", it doesn't take much to be knee high. <laughs> That's true. It does build character. That's why I'm such a character. For sure. Uh-oh. I think we're on fire, Chad. 
<laughs> that can't be good. That can't be good at all. What the heck is going on back here? Ah, oh, crap. That attraction motor smoking? Yeah, I, I, I think this engine's on fire. It's probably not good. Uh, we're already dancing with disaster on the... I can't stop here, that's the thing. If I stop here, we're never getting going again. Oh boy. Yeah, we're we're on fire. <laughs> yeah, we uh we use too many of the amps. Smell that? Ah, smells like victory. Oh boy. I need to cut this I need to cut this guy out. Can I just go to isolate? And isolate him? Yeah, he's isolated now. Oh, brother. Yeah, we're we're in trouble. Let him cool off. I don't know if we're going to even build it. Uh, we're getting wheel slip. Sand! Give me sand! This this just got a lot more interesting. <laughs> I did let some of the magic smoke out. Oh, we're way into the amps. Oh! Yeah, we, we might have to have that industry power come down here and pull us out of the hole. So we are slowly coming to a stop. Inevitably. Got we've got way too many amps on. Crap. Yeah, I gotta I gotta get some brakes on to hold this thing. Well, we're done. Let's get this thing stopped. Oh boy. Well, now seems like a good time to hit save. Let's go let's go assess the damage here. Uh it's not smoking anymore, so that's that's good, right? It's gotta be good. Since we're okay, I think it just overheated. I think she just got a little too warm on the amps. Um, yeah, that's why I was going to go check. I was trying to get off the main. I think we just cleared it. Yeah, we just cleared it. So let's let's get the main cleared up. Get traffic rolling if it needs to roll through here. That's why I would. That's why I didn't want to stop because. A, we wouldn't get going again, and B, I wanted to get off the, the main. All right, we'll turn auto back on. Uh, that's showing fouled. I need to relinquish. Oh, no, I didn't throw this other switch. I threw the wrong two switches. There we go. This one can stay. Oh, no. There we go. Yeah, I, th I think this uh, GP40 just got too hot. Smoke was just rolling off those trucks. Still an MU. Let's put it back and run. Not showing any failures on the traction motor side. So yeah, I think it just got too hot. But I, I honest, I don't think we're gonna be able to get moving again.
We can try, but I'm not sure it's going to happen. Bob? I know. Bob says we have to try. So we have to try. Let everything cool down. <laughs> uh, let's see. We are in neutral. Let me just make sure this actually is cut back in. Yeah, yeah, it's ramping up with the, with the rest of them. Cool. Usually put them in the leaves so you can watch them. Yeah, this was just the way the train was set up. I didn't set up the train. Um, okay, this is going to be interesting. To say the least. Everybody pedal. We were moving for a little bit as we took up some slack. We are no longer... Oh, no, oh, oh, oh. We lurched forward an inch. Pretty much released. I go into the red, we can sort of start moving. Oh boy. Yeah, we're going to need help. This guy's still showing okay. I think it just got too hot. Just cooked a little bit of the insulation off the wiring. It's, it's all it's all good. I've made it before, Adam, uh, a couple times I've been out here in service in this industry, but it's it's definitely hit or miss, and I, I just slowed down too much. It was, it was my fault. I slowed down too much. And brakes on the back end as well. It's It's always a struggle. They never give you enough power. And uh, I think I think before when I've done it, I had three SD forty twos, and I'm not sure I've done this in Run Eight version three, so it would have been in version two when I did it before. All right, relinquish my train. I do believe we have at least one engine down here? Yeah, we've got an engine there. That's the only one. Yeah, we've got a. Oh, good. It's a. It's an SD forty two as well. Sweet. Yeah, 
<laughs> the insulation is optional. Insulation is cooked now. Wow, Bob, you're quick. You made it right down here. In a hurry. All right, let's go hook on. And we're actually lined to come out of here, it looks like. Well, that's good. Yeah, we're lined up all the way. Yeah, you can get your insulation on the side, on the side of the railway back there. Just look for the black smoke. Can't miss it. I need to remember to throw that switch. Or this will get really interesting coming down here. All right, this is going to be our new one slot. And then let's just go ahead and throw that so we're lined into the industry. through my poor train sitting down there Yeah, it's just that third engine. That's that's all you're smelling. Nothing to be concerned about. That just means it's good and broke in now that it's had a traction motor fire in both trucks. <laughs> Traffic's rolling again. Auto's on the case. Sweet. Yeah, I think this will be enough to get us moving. I, I don't remember for sure, but I, I think the other couple times, I think I've done this at least twice. The other couple times, I'm pretty sure it was three SD40s. And the, the Jeep is a little less horsepower, if I remember right. Not to mention less traction. Four axles versus six. Lights on. That's all right. At least they're on low. Nightbot, calm down. <laughs> it's 
Too, too many symbols, it looks like. Rotella. I'm not sure if I said that right. That bot gets a little excited when you use symbols. I forgot. Yeah, I didn't blow my horn for that grade crossing. I'm a terrible engineer. Yeah, Night, Nightbot doesn't care about that, Adam, but YouTube's like, nope. He said cock. Gotta block it. I let it through. <laughs> hey, Cryptic, how's it going? Just tuned in. We're we're having all kinds of fun over here. On the uh, was it the nine thirteen J? I forget which the I forget which local we're on exactly. We uh, we stalled out because we had a couple traction motors trying to catch on fire, and I didn't hit this hill with quite enough speed to make it up over the hump. And now we're stuck. We can't move. Can't get it going again. So, ran down to the industries there that we're servicing. And uh, grabbed this industry loco. We're going to tack that on and see if we can get pulled up this hill. That's what's going on. traction motor fun. There was smoke just billowing out of those. Which is pretty cool. I'm, it's cool that they model that. No no permanent damage doesn't look like. They were just uh, slightly on fire. What kinds of noises going on? I'm not sure what's happening. Big happy family here. The MU hooked up. Uh, looks like this should be the lead loco. Hey. Still unclear on the exact uh, steps for MUing stuff together. We'll get the air sorted, then we'll see if they're all responding to throttle commands. so high. No, no, no forklifts this time around, Nix.
I mean, this train's got air in it, right? Should have had air in it? It was sitting here with air in it when I left it. Okay, well, I guess we're pumping air again. Yeah, they're all responding, so I think we are in mute together correctly. All right, we got four engines pumping air now. Should be in business shortly. Just want this uh, flow rate to get down to around 60. We'll open her up the rest of the way then. We're going to give a mighty pull and see if we can get moving again. I think we can. We take a look at... We're at, we're at one horsepower per ton now. Versus 0 0.7. <laughs> so I think we're good. Just barely under a mile long. 88 loaded tanker cars, 12,338 tons. We are a beast. I didn't push the auto auto button though. So, yeah, I'm not sure what happened with the air. Maybe because I relinquished it, it decided it didn't have air anymore. I don't know. Who knows? All right, what's our flow? Our flow's getting down there. Let's let's try to just open that up and cross our fingers so we don't get an emergency. Looks like we're good. Awesome. Uh, do we still have an EOT back here? Yep, we do. Excellent. All right, we just need some more air, then we can get on out of here. Exactly, DL. That's that's why we only had 0.7. Bob's like, if you weren't such an idiot, that would have worked out great. Didn't need to set that to the be a middle loco again. Single middle. You guys are all good. Everybody's on run. Everybody's pumping air. One big happy family. Tell me the uh, you need the brake cylinder info in here. chat wife made burgers and tater tots kidding me it's a woman that feeds me kale all the time <laughs> all right let's take off all the handbrakes I just hit a magic button to do that We think we're gonna be able to move out of here. Everybody push. Heard the little beep that means the back of the train's moving. 
Don't see any smoke billowing out of the Jeep 40 back there. Both the trucks on the GP40 were smoking earlier. We overheated like crazy coming up this hill. When will I play Armor 3 or Scum again? I don't know. I've been playing a lot of Arma 3 lately. If you miss any of those streams, you can check my live section. And, uh, did some videos. Kind of, I'm contemplating on doing a series, maybe with Overthrow. I kind of had the Overthrow itch again. Alright, let's hop in the cab. Oh, I forgot to add the smoke oil. That's what I forgot. Alrighty, so we need to stop here. Because I'm not going to fit between these roads, am I? Nope. Doesn't matter too much where I stop, I don't think. Or there's a trick to doing this because you have to be on the other side of the train. Well, let's let's follow the original plan. We'll get down here and stop. I think the grade evens out here, so let's get as much of the train as we can up here on the no more grade, and then we're gonna have to go do some some switching around. Big hauler still smokes. Nice. It's a 913J. Oh, I don't have this one labeled right. Yeah, LS 913J. Tricore and Paramount, I think. This is the industrial switcher on the front here. I needed help getting up the hill, so it's not tagged correctly. I wasn't expecting wifey to have dinner this early. Harpy while I use tater tots.
Alright, now we need to get this big thing stopped again. Kind of draped over a hill. You can see the grade is down now. So part of the train is coming up a hill. Part of the train is going down a hill. Let's go and get a ten-pound set. Actually, let's just go. Let's just go straight to fifteen and hold it on the hill. Oops, well, I went a little deep on that one. That'll definitely hold it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> the track's floating. Nice. Five points for you to drop bar. Oh man. Let's see. Let's get some hand brakes on here. There's a chart somewhere for like tonnage and grade and everything. Tell you how many handbrakes to put on. He'll just put it on on all of these rock hoppers. Get some on the back of the train as well. Whoa! Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure about the uh, structural stability of that roadbed up there. Not convinced that's up to code. All right, here we go. Back to the front. Now we're going to cut this guy back off. And uh, leave the local here. And let's see. Two closed. And two closed. And disconnect those. Closed. Disconnect you. Back up a tiny bit. Okay, now we're cut back off from that guy. We're coming through, people. Look out. Grade separation for high speed rail. <laughs> Something going on back there.
I love all the little subtle sounds. That's a cool billboard. Check that out. Cocaine fields. <laughs> nice. Invasion of the saucer bin. Attack of the crab monsters. I guess the question then becomes, how do we attack this? My thought was to pull these guys out. These are all empties. Um, grab that buffer car, grab these two cuts and start, start filling up the siding with stuff that's headed outbound. And then I think, let's just double check. Yeah, Tricor. I think Tricor is the second one. No, Tricor is this one. Paramount's the back one. Yeah. Okay, so it does have Tricor on the back. Okay. And do we need that to run around, though? I nice actually knew that truck. I forget how to work this. I've done it before, but it's a little tricky. That's a lot of tricor. There's no way it'll all fit on that siding. So that's kind of a moot point. How do we get the Tricor stuff down there? Just that one little runaround track. It's a great question. I don't know. I mean the Paramount stuff. I guess you just have to bring them out that length of car at a time and use that runaround track. I don't remember. I don't remember how I approached this last time. At all. But I think that'll be for another day. I've, I've got a big old plate of food set in here. I think I'm going to eat that. <laughs> but we made it here. By the skin of our teeth. So there is that. Had a little bit of excitement with the traction motors catching on fire. Yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to do some contemplating on, on how to approach this. I'm sure there's a, a good way to do it. And a professional railroader would, would know how to do that. But I'm not a professional railroader. See, you know, we have to pull out and get on the other side of them. We have to get on the other side of all these cars down here that are destined for uh, Paramount. All right, looking at that backwards. That's tr which one is which again? Industry tags on. Yeah, this, this is quite a few. I'm calling it Paramount. I don't actually remember if that's what it's called. Quite a few there. More than the sighting will hold. You play one at work, deal. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, it's going gonna, gonna to take some thought. There's a whole lot of train back there.
See, I was thinking I could pull these out and stick them on this passing draft, but this thing isn't very long. It might not be long enough for that. There's no other tracks to use, so. Anywho, thanks for hanging out here on Sunday, folks. Appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day, if you got any left. And I shall catch you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.